I remember when The Sims 3 World Adventures first came out and just thinking how different it was from any expansion pack we've got before in The Sims. There was just so much to it and it was the first time it felt like there was an expansion pack that actually had like a narrative drive behind it. I loved it. I played it all the time and I haven't played it in a while so we're going to do that today. We're going to go to Egypt which I know in The Sims 3 is a bit of a stereotypical Egypt but it's still fun to play nonetheless. I'm really excited for this one so let's jump into it. So I'm calling my sim Robert Grave because if you read it backwards it's Grave Robber. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be stealing as many cultural items as we can. Because that's the kind of bastard I am, apparently. I've chosen traits that'll help us. So he's adventurous, brave, athletic, a kleptomaniac, obviously, because he's going to be stealing so many priceless things. And friendly. That's just nice. So Al Samhara, Egypt is a land of exploration, danger, and archaeological thrills. Sims venturing to this rugged locale are sure to find excitement in exploring tombs or hunting for lost treasure within ancient structures such as the Great Pyramids or Temple of Queen Hatshepsut <laughs> of Queen Blank. Just give me six hours of loading screen and then we'll get on with it. Hopefully I can show you the intro because it looks really cool, but I'm not sure if the music's copyrighted. So it wasn't as aesthetic as I was hoping for, but at least you got to see the intro. And if you didn't get to see the intro, the music was copyrighted and I cut it out, but it was great fun to watch. So hopefully you're not too sad about missing it. Anyway, let's check for our first adventure. Morky Corp is working on a business opportunity with the Egyptian government to find three ancient relics in Al-Simha. The work will be dangerous, but quite profitable. Interested Sims should report to Dalada Barakat for more information. We've only got three days here, so we need to do this as fast as we can. I slowed the game down then so I could look at the moped, but <laughs> we did not go far at all. We came from there. We could have walked over the hill. Hey, Dalada, I'm sorry if I've said your name wrong. It is most excellent to see a fresh set of hands in Al-Simhara. I suggest you visit the market before you venture further to purchase a tent, some dried food, and a shower in a can so that you don't end up starved or smelly amongst the dunes. Here are some dried food. Awful tasting stuff, but it will keep you alive. I need you to take care of a small errand for me. I accidentally left some papers in a nearby tomb. Go to the tomb of discovery, find my papers and bring them back to me. You will be compensated. Then I will give you more exciting tasks. I would go to the market and get a tent and whatever. But I can do that later. Dalada, stop talking to me. You've just given me a job to do, aren't you? And it's right back where I started. I said right back, it's two yards away, but let's go. Here we are. I love this so much. <laughs> I remember the first time I played it and I was so excited. And I still get that same kind of feeling when I'm playing it. It's just so fun. And yeah, I know I'm geeking out a bit, but <laughs> it was such a good time. A note is scrolled on the wall. Every good explorer should carry a tent and dried food at all times. The stairs close behind me, but luckily I'm prepared. I'm confident I'll find a way out any day now. Can everyone stop telling me to get a tent? I'll do what I want. Grab this. Open this, and we've got a crescent keystone. Wonder where that goes. And through we go. Oh, it's just everything about it. The music is so exciting to me. <laughs> go step on that. That might be the guy who wrote that note on the wall. Tent didn't save you, did it, pal? Although, you look pretty happy to be there. Now, it's a good job I hit the gym. Let's pull this. Might as well not hit the gym if that's how much you're struggling, but all right. I don't know if you heard the background music that much, but it sounds a little bit like Celebrate Good Times. Is that what the song's called? Or is it just called Celebration? Either way. <laughs> it sounded like that. Robert just completed the legendary Tomb of Discovery. Legendary? <laughs> Two seconds of pulling statues around. There's the Morky Cup briefing. And I see that wall. <laughs> Let me give that a little push. These must be the papers that Dalada Barakat was talking about. Strange, it seems to have the Morky Cup label on the front of the folder. Sorry, you could hear him moaning in the background. <laughs> Nothing weird. Just grab this extra stuff. Yes! My first bit of precious artifact theft. Egyptian sigil of the Tomb of Discovery. That's probably very important. I best sell it. Okay, Dalada, I'm on the way back. Did not need a tent. Just wanted to say that. Your tips were terrible. Okay, now we can actually watch him on the moped. But again, only for a few seconds. He's buzzing to be on it. Look at that face. But now he's done. Dalada, have you not moved this entire time? You must be expecting some very exciting person if you've been sitting inside of your purse box for that long. The tomb didn't kill you. Most excellent. It will take me some time to analyse these papers. Until then, Morky Corp has other tasks for you. Report to my lackey, Mahmoud Tamer. I don't fully trust this person, but one cannot choose their employees. Do whatever is asked of you. I hate being told what to do, but all right. We all live very close to each other and we're all expecting post. What's coming in the mail today? Why are we all so excited? My name is Mahmoud Tamer. Dalada Barakat gives me all the hard jobs for this operation. Typical Morky Corp work ethic. What were the easy profits and cower from trouble? Anyway, the boss didn't properly budget our operations for this quarter. Obviously, the locals expect to be paid. I need you to find four pieces of turquoise, which I can then use instead of cash payment. You may find some near the pyramids across the river. I'd start there. Okay, well, this one's probably going to be pretty boring, so I won't bore you with it and... 
I will catch it once I've got the turquoise. So I've only been able to find three turquoise. And there's not another one anywhere. So I'm going to go into one of the pyramids while I wait. I know that one of them you can do without having to get a quest for it. And I'm hoping it's this one. I do think the pyramids look really cool though. <laughs> I know I've been saying that everything's cool, but I really like it. It's just really detailed. Anyway, you can't reach it. It's right there. Give it another go. Yeah, you're not struggling so much this time. Robert has gained entry. Good for me, but not good for the local archaeology scene. I'm about to steal everything. Oh yeah, let's look inside these tombs first. Hello? Oh yeah, just get in it if you want. Oh, I found a turquoise in there. <laughs> That's not even what I was trying to do. Okay, well I'll finish this tomb and then I'll go deliver that. Go clear this. I don't know why, but there was always something really satisfying about doing this at a fast speed. So, wait till he starts again. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just liked it. Bring you over here. And it opens this. Egyptian broken bowl. I'll take it, but it's not great. Whack my hand in there. Nothing weird about it. And then it unlocks the stairs. Is there anything else I can get? A crescent keystone. Is that what this is? No, that's a key ship. All right, let's go down. Oh, I can use it there. Cool. Oh, and I've got another crescent keystone. <laughs> I can go in it twice. What's through here? Oh, the massive boulder, but I've never... I don't know how you get rid of that. I know there is a way, but I just can't remember. A magical item from China is needed to destroy this mystical boulder. All right, just jump in here. Hey. I want to disarm a trap, and I do think there is a trap here, if I remember properly. You found a hidden switch at the bottom of the well and activated it. Oh, okay. I think there was a trap here. Do you know what? I still want to walk through it. Like I said, I will not be told what to do. There you are. Disarm. Do I even have the skills for this? I do. Cool. So it's pointless going in that well, but still, we'll go through here. Oh, yes. This looks like it has a mummy in it. I'll just steal all of his things. Yep, there's the mummy. <laughs> well, actually scared me a little bit. Just don't mind me. I'm just going through your, your wardrobes. Do you really not care? Oh, hang on. Attacked by mummy. <laughs> Look at me getting into position for you to attack me. That's nice. King Raymundo can see Robert is very scared. No, I'm not. It looks a little bit like he's winning. Yeah, I lost. <laughs> Knocked out. At least he went back. Let me just get this last one. And then come here, you little prick. <laughs> I'm not done with it. That was just a warm-up. I know he's in there, so why Why am I putting my full body in it? Just open it fully, give him a smack, <laughs> one sucker punch, and then get out. Oh, he's gone. All right, see ya. I always feel like he uses the pickaxe backwards, but maybe that just means that I don't know how to use a pickaxe. I can safely say I have never used a pickaxe in my life. Have I already been here? No. Oh, I'm done. And there we go. Let's go deliver the gems. It's the next morning anyway, so it's not weird that we're going to just run into his house in the middle of the night. Oh, did you let it not come yesterday? That turquoise will keep operations moving along nicely. Sending you to assist me is the best thing Morky Corp has done in weeks. I hope you stick around. I have some personal concerns about the reputation of Morky Corp, and I believe the local citizenry is growing hostile. I'd like you to get close to some of the other villagers and see what they think about this corporation. Can you invite me inside though, please? I'm only going to ask people in your house what they think about Morky Corp, so it's going to be a very small, not reliable sample size. But let me in. I'm only asking teenagers too, apparently. Where did the other one go? There were two teenagers here. Now it sounds weird that I just said I'm asking teenagers. Well, since you're asking, I'm not a big fan of those guys. When they laugh, it's really creepy. What about you? Well, since you're asking, I'm not a big fan of the... Well, your brother said the same thing, so that's rehearsed. Who else can I talk to? I really like this room of your house. You've done a really good job. Is anyone here? Yes. Oh, you're a teenager. <laughs> this isn't even something I have to do. I don't have to ask teenagers, but I've just... I'm doing it. Ask about Morky Corp. Whilst I don't really care either way, I just wish they would stop digging all over the place and then leaving the holes. I agree, pal. Anyway, I, it's weird to be friends with all these people. So I'm just not going to be friends with you anymore. Give me one second. There you go. It did make me sad that I lost a friend. I actually lost three, but I don't want to be friends with them. I'm back. Were you pissed last night? Is that what that means? Hungover, are you? Ah, it is as I feared, but perhaps this will present an opportunity. Anyway, the documents have been deciphered and it's time to send you into the fire. Unfortunately for you, that is not a euphemism. Morky Corp is interested in a strain of flame fruits that grow in the tomb of the burning sands. I believe they plan to use it to help develop some kind of post-atomic propulsion drive. Use this key to enter the tomb and gather some of these fruits. It's bound to be hot in there, so you might want to bring some shower in a can. Fine, I will go to the market for once. Also, I'm sorry about how much you're hearing that music whenever I hand in a quest or task or whatever it is. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> I can't help you with that, I'm afraid. This market's a bag of shit. Is anyone selling a tent? No, a shower in a can. What are you? Goods merchant. Show me what you got. Shower in a can. I'll take five. I'll take this tent too. Wait, is this a Sim Scouts? Sounds like it's for kids. I'll take the big one. Now, where's that tomb? Pyramid of the Burning Sands. That's the one I just went to, isn't it? <laughs> Should be nice and easy. Or I've broken the game. We'll find out. Me again. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely been in here. I can see like glowing light behind here too. Oh, that's where that key goes. Okay, good. I thought I was going to have to do all the same stuff again. In we go. This place reeks of sulfur and there is a suspicious heat emanating from within. Hopefully Robert is prepared. Kind of. What if I explore this water? 
Sick backflip, dude. Did I not find anything? No. But I'm soaked now, so I guess that's what the point was, so that I don't set on fire, because there's probably a trap here. Oh, wait, I can see it. Stop. <laughs> that was pretty dark. Attempt to cross. I should be fine, because he's wet. Easy. And let's explore here, because I'm guessing that will open this door. Yep, there we go. You found a hidden switch at the bottom of the well. Step on this, and hopefully something appears, because this room is too empty, and it looks suspicious. Where's that going? Oh. Oh. That's where I came from. All right, go down there. I uh, hear some flame fruit. Harvest all of those. Oh, I thought that wasn't going to be enough, but after this one, I should have five. Yeah, I've got enough to deliver. Let's just keep going with this tomb anyway. Push that as far as you can. That's enough. Same for this one. I don't really know what I'm looking for, but I'll go in here again. Swim through tunnel. Ooh. If I push this over the fire, it should turn it off. That's what it did in the other room. Yeah, okay. That's those turned off. I probably shouldn't have pushed it all that way, but whatever. Your vacation's over in a day. Fucking hell. All right, pull it as fast as you can. Drop it on there. Now, pull this one. Oh, can I not pull that one? Why? I can only get this one, so that makes sense why I was trying to get it out of the fire. I thought I was going to need loads. I just needed two. Oh, cool. And step on that. Whoa. I mean, it would have made more sense if the flame fruit wasn't at the start of the tomb because... I've already got enough, so why am I doing this? I'm just wasting time, right? Let's just get whatever's in here. Ooh, yes. Something else to steal and then go through there. This is just taking me back to where I came from. Where am I? Oh, yeah, this does. This is the way back out. I can't stop finding turquoise now. Now that I don't need it. Okay, deliver flame through. I still got over half a day left. You really need to go back inside your house at some point. Okay, I won't start speaking until after the music plays, so you don't have to hear it. There you are, nice and quiet. Your effort in this endeavor is to be commended, but perhaps we can put it to better use. Morky Court believes Sana Madbuli may have information on these relics they are looking for for. Sana Madbuli knows about some sort of old book that may contain precious information that we need. Go get this information. Sana, I'm on the way. Maybe I should get friendly with Sana Madbuli before attempting this again. Honestly, I would put the effort in, but we don't have time. We're best friends now. Ask about ancient book. There is an ancient library hidden in a home in town. Inside, you'll find a chest with the information you seek. You may need to befriend the owners of the house before getting access. Just a thought. Oh wait, it's this house. I've already done it. Can I go in? Thank you for letting me in. Ah, hole in the ground. And there we are. I hope I can get through this tomb before my holiday ends. The smell of musty tomes fills the air and Robert enters the ancient halls. Somewhere in here is a book that should contain the information everyone needs. Is it that? Because that's nice and easy. It won't be, will it? Let me step on this. Go through this door. Is this it? Am I just stepping on loads of platforms and nothing else? Oh, this is different. I'm not stepping on a platform. I'm just pulling a pedestal onto a platform instead. And then that'll open this door over here. Oh, no, it didn't. That's what I get for trying to predict it. Shown up in front of all of you. So I can only go through one at a time, I guess. So I push that far. Let's open this one. Oh, is this what I'm after? I would go back and check that other room, but um, no one has the time. Least of all me, sir. Robert just completed the legendary ancient library. Don't rest as there are new adventures to be had. That was triumphant, that music. I loved it. I feel really good about myself. The saga of the three relics. Okay, let's go deliver the book. I'm having so much fun. I'm not going to lie. Not as much fun as these two, dirty bastards, but I'm having a really good time. Yes, this book describes three powerful relics left here by the old kings of Al Samhara. There's a lot of information that we can use to track down the final relic. Luckily, I already know where another one is. Unfortunately, so does Morky Corp. There's no time to explain, but you must go to the merchant Zara Diab before Morky Corp's goons arrive and obtain the Relic of the Sun, which is in the merchant's possession. I'll explain more later, just go. I reckon I'm going to have to do two trips here to get these quests done. So I will. Oh, I'll keep doing this. I need to be friends with people. Wait, am I best friends with you and you still said no? No, you don't even know who I am. Ask about first relic. Ah, so Mamad Taylor wants me to hand over this relic. Relic, eh? I have no use for it, but you do, which means there is a value in the piece. I judge this value to be five chunks of copper. Bring me this and I will hand over the relic. You best hurry though, I may get a better offer. This is a terrible offer. Yay. Oh wait, deliver copper? I already have it. I'm less mad than I thought I was going to be. What, five chunks of copper? Yeah, just got it in my pocket. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to read this one. <laughs> There's no reason for it, but let's just go deliver the relic. You've made the right choice helping me out. I will tell you the truth. I work for an organization that wants to stop Morky Court from exploiting this land. We could really use your help. If you want to sign on, there's more work to be done. We need to buy you time to explore the next tomb, which means we must bribe Morky Corp's henchmen. Explore the sands around town to find two pieces of mummitomium with which to bribe the Morky Corp goons. Bring that back to me. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back to me. I don't see any mummitomium on this map. Sending me on a fucking wild goose chase here. Sims Wiki, take the wheel. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I love going back on 14 year old forums to try and work this out. <laughs> mummitomium appears randomly and is exceedingly rare. There's a good chance there isn't even one more piece in the area. Great. Zoom out to Worldview and see if there's any on the map. And if there's not, you just need to give it some time. Go do some shopping or search a different tomb and hope some appears before you get sent home. I think we're gonna have to do a couple of trips. Well, I can't find any, but this looks 
interesting and I'm going to this. Oh, that was thoroughly disappointing. Has anyone been mining for mumatomium down here or? No. Okay. I guess I'll fuck myself and go home, but we'll come back and find some mumatomium. Although I'll just check one more time. No, couldn't find any and my vacation's over in an hour. So just relax in your tent until we have to go. I'm back in Egypt. I'm looking for mumatomium. I can't find any on the map. Apparently you might be able to find some at the market. I hope so because otherwise I just have to wait days for mumatomium to appear. Oh yes, two pieces. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I found it all on my own. I'm back. Sorry, I've been gone for days. I've arranged for the mumatomium to be deposited in a chest in the local Morky Corp headquarters. There shouldn't be anyone around to bother you. Problem is, the security systems will most likely be online. This could get hairy. Take this package of mumatomium, deposit it, and watch your back. Ooh, this is getting excited. Headquarters infiltration. Whoa! What are you shouting about? Well, we're not best friends anymore. Prick. Oh, yeah, just sing a song about it. Hi, let me in your house. Thanks. Is this it? Up, uh, hold on. What's out here? Ah, okay. Inspect this. Stay away from this room. Go away. Are you going for a cheeky little affair? Are you two even together? An affair with your wife. Don't mind me. I'm just going to rummage through your stuff. That's all right. Fuck me. They're all coming. Leave. <laughs> okay, no one cares. See you soon. This door is locked. Okay. Attempt to cross. I'm not going to disarm it because that's boring. I'm just going to risk my life. Easy. Oh, it was electricity, not fire. I don't think the shower and a can would have saved me. Let's pull this on here. I think this is a pretty small tomb. I literally just have to go into that room over there. I've, I've literally never done this before, so I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <sighs> Another one. Nope, it doesn't open that door. We've got to go down here. Another trap. Easy. Just cross that like a breeze. Getting very dark down here, though. Ah, shit, the bed. Not like a breeze. <laughs> Am I alive? I'll just use this shower in a can, and hopefully if I'm not singed, I won't die. Now I need to be more careful because I don't really know how to find traps that you can't see. Fuck me! Maybe I need better mechanical skill for this. Oh, I've done it. We're okay. Just checking the floor everywhere. I don't even know if this is how it works. I don't trust anything anymore. <laughs> how do I check for traps? Can I? Just go. Just see what happens. Yeah, I'm still alive. Oh, I don't trust it. Fuck it. Just go. <laughs> There's no need for me to be this panicked. Another one of these. Oh, is this going to... Open that door all the way over there. No. Okay. <laughs> I need to stop complaining before I even know what's going to happen. Another one. Thank you. Ooh, this is cool. All right. Well, I'll grab this. Jesus Christ, that is painful on the eyes. Take that. If I put the mumatomium in here. Robert receives a phone call from Mamad Taylor. Good job with the bribe. Just leave it there and the henchman will take care of the rest. Also, I've hacked into the Morky Corp mainframe. The information is there, but I cannot get it from my computer. Hack the commander's computer inside their HQ to find the location of the second relic. It should be a room with a computer all by itself. Be quick about it. It stopped telling me what to do. This room? Those are some blacked out windows. What's he hiding in there? What am I doing again? Hack. <laughs> that makes sense. I have like no IT skills. Is that going to be an issue? What am I doing? This looks very advanced. Robert receives a phone call from Mahmood. Thanks for sending in the information. According to the data, the tomb of the desert ocean is an underground oasis. A vast source of water for centuries. You must survive its depths to find the relic of life and return it to me. This is Mahmood Tamer signing out. Why have you gone all professional on me? Are you two still kissing up here? You're a weird family. I'm gonna go to that tomb now. Here it is. Pyramid of the Sky. Robert has entered the tomb of the desert ocean, now to find the relic of life. And I'm visa level two. That's nice. Oh, there are different keys on here. So take the star keystone. In we go. I didn't change his outfits other than his everyday. I think he's wearing cargo shorts for, <laughs> for swimming, but, but it's fine. I can already go through that door, but I guess the star keystone goes... Yeah, on that chest. Oh, why is this so good? I'm having such a good time still. What's in there? Low quality dried food. Worth it, if you ask me. Really, really glad we did that. Let's go through this door. Why has nobody found this place? Creepy. It must be visible only to worthy adventurers. Nah, I reckon you're just the first person to try it. Okay, there's another star keystone here. And then I'm scared there's traps, but I feel like there weren't because it, I'm walking on sand. I pop that in here. Now what? I don't trust this. <laughs> Whatever this is. Inspect. I knew I was right to not trust it. I well, don't inspect it by standing on it. Oh, it just made me wet. Is that a weird way of saying that? So obviously there's an electric trap. I'm hoping that this hole in the wall will turn it off. Although technically I'm just putting my hand into the electricity and I'm soaked. So will I be dead? No, it turned it off. No, that one's open. Hang on. I'm going to go through here just because that one isn't one I unlocked. And I don't want to miss stuff. Oh, fuck okay, it. I'm still going to try it. Let's inspect this. Is it just another steam trap? A fire trap. Okay, hold on. Jump in there. Now I'm soaked. Then... Attempt to cross. Just in case I do burn, <laughs> I should be fine if I'm sucked. Nice and easy. And then inspect that. Robert discovered a secret door. I reckon that's a secret door. Yeah. <laughs> I am good at this. I know it's not a game that requires skill. If there's any skill involved, I've got it. Did I speak too soon? Because that's not 
done anything. No, I just hadn't had the walls up. Push that open and then grab whatever's in here. Was this worth it? No, <laughs> nothing has been, to be honest. I pressed something in there, but that door was already open, so I don't know what I've done. What does this mean? Maybe I should have gone through that other door at the start because I don't know where I am. Push that. Oh, good. Super good. Oh, it's opened this hole in the floor, at least. I found money. <laughs> Keep inspecting. There might be something else. No. So if I step on this, that turns off these. Then push that. Push it again. Yeah, and then I should be able to push this across. I mean, this is a game that kids are meant to be able to play, I think. And I'm acting like this is really hard. <laughs> but we did it. We're through. Let's go in here. There's a secret tunnel at the bottom of the well. Let's swim through. I still feel like I've gone the wrong way. And I should have gone through a different door. Oh, well, this is creepy. There's a lot of dead people, but a lot of coins to steal. I can either go down these stairs or I can go through this door. I'm going to try the door first. This has got to be it. Although I feel like this is just a door behind here. Oh, well, spoiler alert. <laughs> it was. Stop giving me multiple doors to go through. I can't handle the amount of choice I'm being given. Usually I wouldn't complain about this. Inspect. Why can't I push it? I can only inspect it. Wow, this statue is a little loose from its base. You may be able to push it. That's what I've been doing with them the whole time. So why is this a surprise? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going through this door. Good. Only one door this time. Unless... Oh my god. Secret door. Ooh, a mummified teddy bear. Taking in for safety on this trip. Okay, come with me, teddy bear. I'm not leaving you. And then we'll go through this door together. Because I'm scared. Oh, never mind. See you later. I guess I'm not taking you anywhere. This place is huge. Oh, okay. Hang on. This looks like it's what I'm after. But it's not. Key to the heart of the water temple. That has to be where I'm trying to go, right? I opened this door over here. So go back up these stairs. Where am I? What am I, <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, uh, okay. Back at the start, you need the key to the heart of the water temple. So there we go. Jesus. I made that very difficult. Have I just been electrocuted again? God damn it. Let me just do a quick shower in a can. Is this it? Am I, can this please be it? Yeah, I don't know how to get to that hole behind there and I'm not going to. Okay, not my issue. Let me go through this door. Robert just completed the legendary tomb of the desert ocean. Finally, that was so difficult for no reason. And there we go. This is what I'm after. I'm not going to lie. It, I am making it sound like I'm complaining about the length of it. Uh, that's not the case. I am having a really good time. It is really good fun. I just, I got a bit fed up. <laughs> And now I'm going to go deliver that relic. My move, that was not worth it. So we better be close to done. Incredible how you've secured the second relic. Simply incredible. Meanwhile, I've been tracking down the final one with both the book and the data. I believe the town's relic merchant, Farouk Rashid, knows the location of the third relic. The merchant is an odd fellow, though, and a shrewd trader. So it's doubtful the information will be easy to get. Pay the merchant a visit and try to obtain the information. All right, you didn't have to tell me the last bit. I was already about to do that, wasn't I? Hello, did we already become friends? Did I already cheat our relationship so that we're friends or... Nah. Farouk Rashid appears to be quite interested in a free meal. They will share their information with you, but only if you bring them a fresh plate of shawarma. Why? I don't want to do that. You're a food merchant. Can you just sell me it? Please don't make me work for this. Ignore my phone ringing. I can't do anything about that. Sorry. Yeah, easy. I love cheating. Whoever's trying to get in touch with me is absolutely desperate, so it's still ringing. That meal was quite scrumptious. You've earned the information you seek. You must go to the Great Pyramid to find the Relic of Eternity. You may want to pack extra food and supplies. Yeah, you're right. I might just buy some more from this happy gal because she is loving work over there. Just laughing to herself. Ten high quality foods, loads of showers in a can. And let's go. This is it. The big pyramid. I've wanted to go here. I don't remember if I've been in the Great Pyramid or not. If it's this quest specific, then I haven't. But I think you can get into it anyway. Let's inspect. This is the last relic. And then we've got everything we need. I think. I don't know if there's more quests after it. Everyone's dead. Always a welcome sign. I feel like I haven't been here before, but I don't know why. Unless it's locked until you get to this quest. Can I turn these lights on? It's a bit dark in here. Can someone tell me what to do? Because, <laughs> again, I don't want to do this. I don't want to work this out. Whether I just pull this. Why did that happen? Okay, so the more that I pull onto this, the more stuff opens. Oh, it's only those two that I can pull. Can I attempt to cross? Grab the star. Push this wall, because there's obviously a wall there because of that. Oh, there's another star keystone there, so let me grab this too. And then through this door. I honestly don't know how many times I'm going to have said, go through this door. So by the time I get to editing, I'm sorry if it's all I've said. Oh, this is just a bunch of dead people. Let me steal their belongings and then... I'll go through that door. Am I in my last day? No, I've still got two days left. We're all good. It might take me two days to get through this fucking thing, to be fair. <laughs> I have no idea how long this one's going to take if the last one was as hard as it was. Um, That will turn into stairs. I can tell by the ship there. So, I'll clear this. And hopefully there's a statue underneath it. No, but I've cleared enough brubble piles that I can do it faster. It's exciting. I'll clear the other side. Oh, because there's the thing. And there's the stairs. There's just a bunch of holes in the wall. I'm just going to stick my hand in every one. Fuck it. Great. That set of traps and I have to individually click each one of those again. Another trap. Is it just going to do this until I find which one isn't a trap? I'm just going to go for the green light one. That would make the most sense. And I wish I saw that it was a different color 
straight away. Yep. <laughs> For God's sake. All right, go through here. Another massive room. These are the ones that freak me out the most because I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I just need to pull this over to that platform. I've just zoomed out so I can see what's going on. Oh, great. Another. Can I pull any more of these? Why is it so dark in here? Oh, there's one there. This is going to be such a pain in the ass. Why does it have to be all the way over there? Done. Step on that. That's door one of three. <laughs> Brilliant. Loads more to go. I don't trust any bit where the floor looks different. Yeah, if I inspect that, that's going to be a trap, isn't it? Yep. Let's just walk around. Not something I want to deal with. Thank you very much. Yeah, clear the rubble. I don't know if I need to clear the rubble, but I will. I absolutely didn't have to clear the rubble. It just gave me ancient coins, but I'll take them. There's another thing that I can push here, but I can't really push it anywhere good. Hold on. Is this covering something I can put it on? Yeah. I've wasted so much time trying to get this around here. It's really not important. It just gives me a way into that door. Yeah. I didn't need to do that, but I've done it. Oh, but going through, I did need to do that. Sorry for being pessimistic again. Doing that has opened the door that I need to go through. Down here. Oh, but earth core keystone required. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, wait, where have I just come from? I've not been through this door, though. Oh, no, please. <laughs> what am I meant to do then? I don't even remember if I've missed anything. I'll just keep looking around the tomb to see if I can find... What was it called? Like the Earth Core Key? Oh, there's another door here. <laughs> Do you have the key, pal? Can I just take a quick little gander? Earth Core Keystone. Brilliant. And I'll get that because that's obviously a secret door too. That's just let me through. <laughs> I'll use the Keystone just for, just for completeness, I guess. But I'll go the easy way. Oh, I'm always getting electrocuted in this playthrough. Do I have a Keystone for this? Earth Core Keystone required. Oh, why did I go and use it on the other one? I could have got through here. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Lodestone key, which I'm guessing goes in here. Oh no, tomb depth keystone. So I have to go back to that other one. These tombs, as much as they are killing me, they are really well done. There it is. Oh, this area looks huge still. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Death tomb depths key. Nice and easy. Stick that in here. That's not ominous at all. Nothing to worry about. Let me just walk around these traps. That's all right. Yeah, door's open. I really want to sit my hand in there. I have to do it. That's this one open. And it turned off the traps. Okay, well, at least it made a cool pattern, but I really didn't have to do that. I've done it. There's two mummies now. Brilliant. Let me step on this. I don't know what it does. Oh. Oh, sorry. Really, really sorry that I just killed you. But um, I needed to get through there, you see. There it is. The Relic of Eternity. Okay, I'll go deliver the relic. Fantastic. With your raid, the Morky Corp resistance secured all of the sacred relics before they were stolen. I'll make sure all of them are hidden away forever from evil corporations. You did a fine thing here and we couldn't have done it without you. Here's something I scraped together to reward your effort. And the local population will be sure to adore you as well. Finally. Okay, I had such a good time with that, but that was long-winded. But I'm really glad I managed to finish it, so I'm going to end it there. That was so much longer than my usual recordings, but it was so fun. I'm so glad that I did that today. So for those of you who watch my live streams, you will know that I am going to be handed in my notice at work pretty soon. But I do have a three month notice period. But what that means in about May time is that I'm going to be producing a lot more content for you. You'll be getting stuff during the week as well as on Sundays. And I'm really, really excited for it. But also really scared because I am going to have no money. But I have to do it. But just thought I'd tell you because I'm really excited about it. So thanks for joining me for another one. There's plenty more like this to watch on the channel if you don't watch them already. This one's probably going to be a lot longer than my usual because I've been playing for so long, but it was so good. Oh, and if you don't subscribe already, please do. But I will catch you in the next one. So I'll see you then.